Well, it might seem futuristic, but a London-based startup estimates it can prevent 80% of ACL injuries with an AI-programmed knee brace. The technology uses airbags to protect the knee when it detects movement that could cause injury, and its creators believe the brace could be used internationally in the near future. ACL. No three letters are more feared in women's sport. Now, thanks to artificial intelligence, an end to the knee injury crisis may be in sight. There needs to be a change for this, and we hope we can be the leader to bring that change. Both 20 years old, Kylan Shaw and Barbie Metka have developed what some are calling the holy grail in knee injury prevention, a knee brace which stops injuries in its tracks. Athletes are required to wear the brace for at least three minutes to calibrate the user's movement range. Your condition change every day, every hour. So that's why the AI has to constantly learn and calibrate the knee threshold toward your own conditions. We will ask you to do a certain motion, do like, you know, touch your toe and, you know, to learn more about your flexibility and to, you know, do a squat and things like that. So only about a couple of minutes, then the AI will be ready to go. The knee brace then uses AI to detect when the joint is approaching breaking point before deploying an airbag in 25 milliseconds, quicker than it takes the ligament to tear. The whole microchip we embed into the smart knee device will inflate the airbag, deploy the airbag around your knee use the gas pressure to tighten up your knee, providing you a buffer zone uh, and a supporting period. The interior cruciate ligament is only a small band of tissue, but tearing it can mean an extended period on the sidelines and months of rehabilitation. The injury is not isolated to female athletes, but they are eight times more likely to experience a rupture than their male counterparts. If it can stop the displacement of those by pushing back, on one to hold the knee in in a better position, then in theory it could reduce the risk or it would reduce in theory the loading on the ACL and therefore um, the potential for it to, to tear. Is it going to have any impact on normal movement? Weighing only 107 grams, the brace suffered just six malfunctions across 4,000 tests conducted with professional athletes. A false positive rate is only 0.1%. Um, and we're very confident that we can, with further testing and, you know, concrete trials in the coming months, can reduce that number to net zero. In the AFLW alone, 33 players are recovering from knee injuries, enough to make an entire squad. And of that 33, 24 suffered ACLs and one an MCL. And interest is peaking from the Premier League to around the globe. We did a mini trial with Crystal Palace Academy team, Olympics uh, players as well. Mr Shaw plans to expand testing to Australia in late 2025, but says the knee brace could be seen on basketball courts in the US in 12 months' time. Monique Van Hayden, Sky News.